Well, first of all, Steve, all these tinfoil hats, are, I have no use for them anymore. Today's the day, everybody. <laughs> it's over. Uh, the Supreme Court case will be filed today. And uh, we're very excited. I, I've waited for this day for three years, and uh, the open door is finally there. Uh, you're going to see things you've never seen before, everybody, uh, which is going to be filed. It sounds like later today, could be even in towards the early evening. And tomorrow, we're going to have a press conference we're setting up online. We'll uh, have all information on that for you later today, Steve. And, and uh, I'd love to get on your show tomorrow to announce everything to the world. We can go the go over this new explosive, never been seen. This is going to shock the world, everybody. It's going to shock the world. <laughs> that guy needs help. Welcome to What Was That? I'm Gabe Sanchez. My Pillow CEO, Mike Lindell, says that he has explosive evidence that is going to prove that he was right all along about the 2020 election being stolen. Sure, Jan. When I tell you that Mike Lindell has ruined his life and well-being because of Trump, I'm not exaggerating. Lindell is being sued for billions of dollars by Dominion and Smartmatic for defamation. He owes a software developer $5 million for debunking his election claims, and his lawyers dropped him because he owes them millions in unpaid legal bills. So as the saying goes, everything Trump touches dies. But regardless of the losses that Lindell has collected, his recent Supreme Court adventure has been nothing short of hilarious and pathetic. In 2022, Lindell told us that he was going to sue all the machines, whatever that means. It's a class action lawsuit against all machines and that they're defective devices, okay? I have lawyers worked on this for five months. We're getting county commissioners, county clerks. They're all the plaintiffs and we've already got about 300 on board and we're gonna get rid of these machines once and for all. Lindell is suing every machine you can think of. Washing machines, gumball machines, sewing machines, even Rube Goldberg machines. You name it, Lindell is suing him. He also believes the 2020 election was rigged, just like his filter-loving election-denying sidekick, Carrie Lake. Did anyone give you advice to not talk about the 2020 election? No. I, the 2020 election, I think it was a rigged election. President Trump, I don't, I believe it was. In 2022, Carrie Lake filed a lawsuit to ban the use of electronic voting machines in Arizona, along with election denier and guy cosplaying as Yosemite Sam, Mark Fincham. You might remember Fincham from his many conspiracies or this hilarious 60 Minutes interview. We asked Fincham for credible proof of fraud. He raised not evidence, but those questions from the state Senate audit. Next. Fincham told us about a mysterious post-election email which he featured in a rally. Where we had a whistleblower who sent an email not just to the DOJ but to every single legislator saying there's 34, 35,000 fictitious voters and they've been inserted in the system where you'll never find them. Well, we believe we found him. Mark Fincham's supposed whistleblower sounds like a shitty comic book villain. 35,000 voters have been inserted into the system where you'll never find them. <laughs> <laughs> if there was actual evidence of fraud, why wouldn't their whistleblower just point to it instead of telling them to find it like it's Where's Waldo? In the email Fincham speaks of, a Brian Watson said Democrats added bogus votes electronically in Pima County. The writer had no evidence, asked not to be contacted, and closed his email account. No one saw that one coming. Why would you give this any credence? Again, it's an open question. I want to know, was there a possibility that this happened? Now, we've now proven that it happened, Scott. How so? We've got two precincts that show over 100% of the people registered to vote in that precinct voted. That is an undeniable fact. But it is deniable by Pima County which says no precinct had more votes than voters. And it gets even funnier. Their lawsuit was dismissed and their lawyers were sanctioned to pay over $122,000 for lying in court filings and bringing a frivolous lawsuit. Which means that Carrie Lake and Mark Fincham lost their 2022 Arizona races and then lost again in court. So even though Carrie Lake keeps getting her ridiculous lawsuit slapped down, she wants the Supreme Court to outlaw all electronic voting machines. So naturally, she filed a petition to the highest court in the land with the help of the man, the myth, the loser, my pillow CEO, Mike Lindell. I have personally, for three years, put in probably upwards of $40 million into everything in this country, and I ran out of funds to do that. Uh, you've probably seen that in the news. But right now, we've got to get the rest of this to fruition. We're about 90, 95% there. The only, thing, the only thing we need now is your help. We need you to donate 
everything you can to secure our elections. The grift never stops with these people. Mike Lindell traded his crack addiction for MAGA, a shift equally detrimental to one's well-being and livelihood. But you know who didn't spend $40 million trying to get Trump back in the Oval Office and has better quality products than my pillow? Today's sponsor, Miracle Made. Did you know that your temperature at night can have one of the greatest impacts on your sleep quality? If you ever wake up too hot or too cold, then I highly recommend you check out Miracle Made's bed sheets. Inspired by NASA, Miracle Made uses silver infused fabrics and makes temperature regulating bedding so that you can sleep at the perfect temperature all night long. Using silver infused fabrics inspired by NASA, Miracle Made sheets are thermal regulating and designed to keep you at the perfect temperature all night long so you get better sleep every night. These sheets are infused with a silver that prevent up to 99.7% of bacterial growth, leaving them to stay cleaner and fresh three times longer than other sheets. No more gross odors. Miracle sheets are luxuriously comfortable without the high price tag of other luxury brands. And they feel as nice, if not nicer, than bed sheets used by some five-star hotels. Stop sleeping on bacteria. Bacteria can clog your pores, causing outbreaks and acne. Sleep clean with Miracle. Go to TryMiracle.com slash Gabe to try Miracle Sheets today. And whether you're buying them for yourself or as a gift for a loved one, if you order today, you can save over 40%. And if you use our promo Gabe at checkout, you'll get three free towels and save an extra 20%. Miracle is so confident in their product, it's backed with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you aren't 100% satisfied, you'll get a full refund. Upgrade your sleep with Miracle Made. Go to trymiracle.com slash Gabe and use the code Gabe to claim your free three-piece towel set and save over 40%. Again, that's trymiracle.com slash Gabe to treat yourself. Thank you, Miracle Made, for sponsoring this episode. So now, the Lumpy Pillow King has promised to hand deliver his explosive evidence to the Supreme Court to save this country. But I bring you great news, everybody. Next Friday, March 15th, we're going to be right out in front of the Supreme Court and bring in the case. I've been telling you guys for three years, we need to get a case to the Supreme Court. And here it comes. And uh, so I hope all the media out there spread this video far and wide so they, that, they, uh, that the word gets out. Because what we're putting in that case is evidence no one has ever seen or even heard about. And it's gonna be so explosive. Lindell told us again. Week from today, March 15th, we'll be on the steps of the Supreme Court serving them that case you've all been waiting for for three years. And then again. That you're gonna see on Friday is the most explosive evidence you've ever seen. So what a blessing, we finally made it. We'll see you Friday at 3 p.m live from the steps of the Supreme Court. Look, I'm just gonna say it. Lindell better not let us down again because I don't know if I can handle that. In 2021, Lindell promised everyone that he was gonna march into the Supreme Court and hand deliver a lawsuit that would result in a unanimous 9-0 decision to reinstate Trump as president. However, it never happened after Lindell failed to get a single state attorney general to sign on to his earth-shattering lawsuit. He couldn't even get corrupt Texas attorney general Ken Paxton. You are one pathetic loser. <laughs> But I have a pretty good feeling that this is gonna be way different. Mike Lindell has assured us many times that he's gonna hand deliver this to the Supreme Court himself. I, I'm so excited, the Supreme Court case, the lawyers will be turning it in later on on Thursday. We were gonna do it right on site at the Supreme Court, and uh, but they said, no, Mike, it's too risky. It's oh, come on. So after all that, Lindell just chickened out? Well, that was a letdown. It'd be too dangerous. Dangerous? What, why? We're gonna do it this way. So we need everybody's help. Go to lindellplan.com. And there it is, the grift. It's never far behind. It is so explosive. Uh, the only thing stopping it is everybody spreading the word We because you're not going to see this on Fox News. You're not going to see it on Newsmax. You're not going to see it on any of these stations because they don't want they don't want this out there for some reason. I wonder why they're not going to report on this. Oh, right, because of those billion-dollar defamation lawsuits. And we're able to add new evidence which just came about three months ago. This evidence is more explosive than any evidence I've seen, and I've seen a lot. This is uh, this is going to shock the world on Thursday, and it's uh, uh, Lou. I've never been more optimistic and excited. I really believe these Supreme right. Court justices. They have grandchildren, children. They have uh, families, and they have neighbors, and they see the destruction of our country. Just like they made the 9-0 vote for the Constitution with the Colorado keeping our great real president on the ballot. I believe if they accept this, 
this evidence is so explosive that it'll have to be another 9-0 vote. Um, I'm so excited and I'll tell you, we really need everybody's help. I need people to understand that this is all a grift. The explosive evidence that Lindell keeps rambling on about is not actually new, and it definitely did not come in the last few months. It is the exact same argument that was already submitted and rejected last year from Kerry Lake and Mark Fincham's case. And when I say exact, I mean literally the same 210-page petition without any changes. This case is going to get kicked out of the Supreme Court because again, there is nothing new since the last time that it was rejected. Mike Lindell is gonna get laughed out of court because he has nothing but a joke. He's the same crazy guy doing TV interviews from his phone in public while wearing no pants. Love you, man. You were true patriot. No, oh, I'm sorry about that. that keep fighting, man. Keep fighting. Don't, don't let the libtards call you names. Don't let them call you an ethnically dubious pillow pusher. Don't let them call you a, a marginally uh, brain-addled, uh, corrupt goofball. And he's definitely the same guy who got destroyed by Anderson Cooper for trying to grift a deadly plant poison as a COVID-19 cure, which it's not. You don't have a medical background. You're not a scientist, yet you're claiming this substance, which has not been studied in any meaningful way, can cure COVID, and you have a financial stake in the company you would profit from it if this is being sold widely. Morally, is that right? Well, you know, I was contacted on Easter Sunday after, you know, that I've told the whole country to pray uh, for the answer for this pandemic. And, and the, uh, it's a great administration has, has had me, anything I hear out there, of, of whether it be good sanitizers or cures or anything, to bring it back to the task force. So this guy called me on Easter Sunday and said he had an answer to the virus. And uh, I reached out to my friend, uh, Secretary Carson, who's on the task force, and he's a doctor, and he looked into it all, got everything from the company, and he said, this is the real deal. It's been tested by over a thousand people to be safe. Medical well, tests wait, wait have minute, been sir, done. Wait a minute, stop, let's stop. There's no public peer-reviewed studies about this. There's no, yeah, there is. there's no yeah, there human is. There's trials safety. that have been published anywhere. Well, that's all for me today. Thanks so much for watching and feel free to follow me at I am Gabe Sanchez. And if you like the show and want to contribute, you can subscribe to my Patreon at patreon.com slash I am Gabe Sanchez. So until next episode, I'm Gabe Sanchez and this has been, what was that?